What is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be looking at Andrew Tate, Pierce Morgan. Apparently, Pierce Morgan tried to say Andrew Tate up multiple times. This is 10 minutes of it. Let's get right into it. Should young men, though, all aspire to be like you? Should young men aspire to work very hard, have no criminal record, become multimillionaires, protect and provide for the women close to them, uh, be sovereign so they can stand up and have their own points of view in face of cancellation, be able to not be mentally intimidated when they go on national TV and there's traps set up for them? Yeah, I believe <laughs> confident, strong men who stand up and protect and provide for women are a good thing for the world and a good force for the world. And yeah. I don't think that I put a magic spell on anybody. I think there's a whole bunch of men in the world who understands my value. And if, if men grow up to be like me, you're going to have a whole bunch of people with no criminal record, dedicated athletes who protect and provide for the people close to them are fantastic for the economy. And we're, and I'm not, I'm certainly not the worst influence out here. Piers, you have little Nas twerking on the devil oh my God. on music videos, which oh. our children are digesting. Oh. You have, uh, drill off. I don't know how everybody was okay with that. I just want to say that real quick before you keep going. How was everybody okay with that? If you look at my prior video, it was called Andrew Tate reacts to Lil Nas X uh, responding to him. Basically, they they had a bit of a back and forth. They showed the same clip up in that video. That is so disturbing. I don't understand how people tolerated that. I don't understand how people went for that. How they were okay with that. How people were defending that. That's ridiculous. But let's keep going. I just want to say that. Are is singing about stabbing people to death in the middle of a knife crime epidemic. You have rabid uh, psychopaths on whether the right or the left announcing violence on the other side. Yep. You have all these insanities in the world. And because I sit here and say, I, yeah, perhaps, now you've, you've laid it out and it offended you, I understand. Me I didn't say it offended me. Okay, cool. I just read you the things. You read things that you said they could be offensive and some people are offended. Well, some people definitely were offended. Absolutely. That's fine. And, and honestly... I think some of the things you said were genuinely offensive and misogynist. Okay, so they offended you. I, like actually, I, so like I said earlier, so they offended you, <laughs> no, which is on. fine. I said they offended you, you interrupted me, and now you're saying they offended you, which is fine. There was no point of him saying anything right there. But but honest, on, honestly, I really think the, some of the things that you said were offensive. Uh, so, so basically his prior statement was true. Why did you even say anything? Come on, Pierce. Pierce Morgan is something else. You know, um, he's gotten a bit better over the years. He said, but when he did the vaccine stuff and all of that, or the V stuff, I don't even, I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube. But when he did that stuff, I was over it. But let's keep going. And the, but the point I'm trying to make is this: I'm not the devil. There are certainly worse people than me, and, I don't disagree and they exist. With that. And and I'm saying that my core tenets for the people who don't understand me are self accountability. Mm -hmm. So I'm accountable for everything I've ever said. My core tenets are responsibility, so I'm responsible for everything I've said. Mm -hmm. My core tenets are traditional masculinity to a degree, which involves protecting and providing for women. And I'll make Thanks. another point. Another point here that's very, very, that's very, that needs to be said. The number of women who have stood up and stuck up for me is ignored. Thousands of women are making videos saying, I've met Andrew Tate, he's such a nice guy. I wish I had a man like Andrew Tate who felt responsible to protect <laughs> and provide for me. You know what? I, I do belong to my husband, that's why I married him and I love him. We ignore the thousands of women who stood up who and, agree. And, and stood by me and said everything I said is true. And we're taking a very vocal minority who have taken the things I've said and are pretending to be absolutely and utterly devastated by them. But there was also, I think, quite a disturbing piece that BuzzFeed did. Hold on, wait. Before, before Pierce keeps going, I just want to say, what do you guys think? Do you think Andrew, Andrew Tate's cancellation was a hit job or something like that? Because I don't see any valid reason why he should have been off platforms when when he got canceled the day he got canceled i was actually surprised i know that one video that 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 guy made the gamer the gamer guy the, the video he made i just don't understand how that video could have got, got him taken down though especially if all of those claims within that video were basically proven false or not even proven in the first place it's innocent until proven guilty people just don't understand that nowadays but let's keep going second setup let's see what he says i watched um a decent amount of this interview just so, so everybody knows this is just like the moments. And it talked about the, the negative impact of young, impressionable male minds when they've read or seen mm -hmm. some of the more inflammatory things you've said. And they quoted, for example, Sandy, uh, 22, from Washington. My father's gone from a man who minored in women's studies in college, who was kind and in touch with his emotions, treated all people, men and women around him, <laughs> in kindness, to a man who says that whenever he oh sees an God. effeminate male stranger, he gets an overwhelming urge to murder them. He loves podcasts. He listens to a lot of podcasts. <laughs> I know he's listened to Andrew Tate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop for a second. Let's be professional here, Piers, because you're a professional as yeah. am I. First, she said, did you say that my father went? She said, my father has gone. father. That's a full-grown man. Mm -hmm. Firstly, so we're talking about my impact on children. You just talked about a full-grown man here. Second, wait, wait, wait. 
that's such a good point. I didn't even think about that. That did I see this part in the, the actual for I don't know, but that was such a good point. Like that's a full grown man, and he's he said like he prefaces uh, Pierce prefaces by saying that your effect on children, but that's a full grown adult, like a full grown man. What are you supposed to say about that? I'm influencing a full grown man. That's pathetic. Get over it. Do something with your life. Come on. I've never talked about murdering effeminate men in anything online ever, on in any context ever. So I don't know why they have taken <laughs> some random person I've That's never so met funny. in the world who's full grown, an adult, and come to their own conclusions who I've never met and lumped his name in with mine. That is absolutely unfair on every level. I didn't watch. I didn't read this BuzzFeed. I didn't read this BuzzFeed article. Hmm. But after hearing the first point, I know it's trash. That is complete. Garbage. What Garbage. Just say what that is I'm the reason this man believes what he believes. I have seen disgusting. a quote from you, and you can tell me what you feel here about this. Sure. Uh, you talk about people don't want to see men dressed up in dressy. I transgender. That's people. not exactly what I said. What, I did said you, what did you say? I said the reason I am so popular and I'm so famous is that there's a large contingent of men who don't want to wear makeup, who still want to make money, go to the gym, be strong, drive a fast car, be traditionally masculine, and don't want to be shamed <laughs> that for that. And they don't want to be called right toxic for that. That is the reason I'm so massively famous. That's yeah. what I said. What do you think of transgender people? That's nothing to do with me. I'm not transgender and I don't <laughs> That was such a like trap. They can do tra that was such a trap right there. What do you think of transgender people? What does it have to do with anything that he has ever said during his career? At least online career. You know, what, what does that have to do with anything that he has ever said about relationships with women and all of this stuff that has nothing to do with that? So why even bring that up? That is a setup right there. I will say that for a fact. That is a setup. Transphobic? Do you, do you consider yourself that? Transfer what? Af afraid? <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> uh, well, it kind of yeah. You I don't live. In, I don't live in fear, my friend. I and I, I have no problem. You have a dislike of transgender people. I don't know any transgender people. But do you have a dislike of what they stand for, what they are? No. Why would I? I don't I, know. That's I'm not my you. issue. That's not my issue. And there's a large contingent of men who are not interested in the things that perhaps the YouTube algorithm is trying to feed I them. I think there are lots of... I, I, look, when you support masculinity and masculine traits, I'm with you, right? Yeah. Okay, so you agree a man should protect and provide for a woman? Uh, absolutely. Okay, so you agree if you were walking down the street with a woman, you'd be, you'd be responsible with her safety? Uh, yeah. Cool, yeah. absolutely. So if that woman wanted to walk alone... I don't night, think I have think... authority over the woman right. as we do that. Okay, so let me ask you another question, Piers, because we are yeah. professionals. Let's say your woman decided she wanted to take a nice little walk through the south side of Chicago at mm. 2 a.m., and she wanted you to go with her, and you were responsible for fighting and dying on the spot if she was attacked, mm. don't you think you would say to her, no, we're not going out right now, it's not safe? Yes. Okay, so you'd have authority to make the decision. So no, I wouldn't. So I we would say, so I don't agree. think you should. If she decides to, it's her own volition. Well, if she decides, you're not going to stop her. I have her. no power to stop her. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You do have power to stop her. Not physically, of course. But if you just say, hey, if you do, if you continue to do this type of stuff, if you just don't listen to what I'm saying and disregard the experiences that I, that I have had as a man dealing with other men, then you can definitely just say, oh, we're separating. We're done. So I think that does have a degree of, a degree of authority because you have the power to say, hey, we are done if you keep continuing to do these things, which says authority. It does. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. That is what authority is. Her. Completely. But you think you do? No, I don't think I have power you to stop her. You clearly do. No, I think I have power to make the decision. I think, no, that's not sensible. So if you have the power to make the decision, you have the power to stop her. Uh, no, yeah. because and that's where we differ. And that's why I think it's interesting about you. I don't think you really think through what you're saying. I think through what I'm saying because what, so carefully. Yeah, but Andrew, appears. what you've literally just said is that you have the power to stop no, her. No, I said I don't have the power to stop her. I'm not going to lock her in the room. I'm saying that... So if she a, wants to go on her own... Then she's going to go. Then... But you as don't a have authority to stop Okay, her. but as a couple, if we're going to sit there and decide if we're going to take this... You late, asked me, Douglas, would I feel a sense of responsibility for her safety? Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so would let I me have finish, the Piers. power or authority to stop her doing it? No. No, of course not. So let me finish, Piers. You're not going to stop her walking out the hotel. Of course, it's her decision. She's a sovereign individual. Mm. My point is that usually in a couple, people have... You'd sit there as a team and you discuss, and perhaps on certain issues... The woman will know more about X and she'll decide X and the man might know more about Y and he'll decide mm -hmm. Y. So I'm saying if we're as a couple and we're sitting there and deciding as a couple, as a team, and she says she wants to take this late night stroll, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to veto this one. I'm going to call but veto you believe because in... it's dangerous. Yeah. Which two degree would give me in that particular scenario a degree of authority? If she said, I don't want to listen to you, Andrew. It doesn't give you authority. I, if she says, I don't want to listen to you, Andrew, I want to go on that walk. Then what can I do? I say, well, then I. Then you I don't hope, have authority. Uh, then I hope, I wish you the best, oh, my you, love. Then you don't have authority. Cool. Then it's a semantic argument. I personally think Andrew dropped the ball on that point. Yeah. He could easily have said that if he's getting into a traditional marriage, 
where him as the man is expected to perform his traditional duties, such duties which include protection, he has to have a degree of authority over her actions and movements. Really quick, I think this is um I chap if I'm not mistaken, his name is. You know, he's uh editing the video. Shout out to him. I think that you know, he, he's right. Andrew did kind of drop the ball on this in the sense that he could have just said, I'm not going to physically force them, of course. But there are like mental, you know, things that that we both just know intrinsic, intrinsically. You know, we just know this stuff. Like, come on. Like, he, it's, it's a way he could explain that better. I will say that. That's all I can say about that. Because if he has zero authority over what she does and how she lives, then he should also have zero responsibility. But if we are being honest, even in the West, men are still expected to be responsible for women. If yeah. you know that. A okay. clinically depressed yeah. person <laughs> I'm has sorry, a, I absolutely prove a medical condition that is beyond their control. Not according to me and many others, my friend. Well, what do you know about it, honestly? <laughs> I know, I know. You're from... not a doctor, are you? Not trained, are you? I'm not a doctor. You're not a psychiatrist, you're none of those things. If you feel depressed, I disagree that you cannot affect it and change your life and take control and fix yourself and feel happier. I disagree with that. Do you think? Do you yeah. think? I, 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 ref I refuse to accept that there are people out there who cannot become happy, contented individuals. I refuse to accept we live in a world where God has created people who no matter how hard they work and how good their life becomes, mm. can't be happy. I don't accept that. Yeah. I accept that the universe is a very giving place and that God loves all of us. And if you try your best and you work hard, you can become a better person. And I also will argue with you and I'll counter the point that you sitting here on your platform telling people they have clinical depression, there's nothing they can do mm -hmm. about it. It's far more dangerous. That. Okay, well then if they have clinical why depression- do you miss, Why do you misquote me? No, I would argue the point that if somebody has depression of any kind, whether it's clinical, whether it exists or not, whether they feel mm. depressed or not, whatever, that taking control of their life, taking personal responsibility and working hard is always going to be the positive, best thing they can possibly do for their life going How forward. Positive. And, and that is just it right there. If you are depressed, you have no other choice but to work. That's all you can do. If you're at your lowest point, the only thing you can do is go higher. So there you go. Just keep going. Just keep working. That's all I could say on that subject. Around them. So sitting here saying, I don't believe in clinical depression, you don't believe in depression. No, I don't. I believe that people can take control and fight against things. Right. I believe in personal sovereignty. Right. Yep. Fine. Good. <laughs> so we agree. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. You Fears know, you're we... on my side, afraid of being canceled <laughs> along with me. Alex Jones said that Sandy Hook didn't happen. It was staged by actors. Okay. This compounded the appalling grief of the families of those poor 20 children okay. who were gunned to pieces by a lunatic with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. They were already grief-stricken beyond belief, and this guy poured petrol onto that grief quite deliberately okay. to make a huge amount of money from his Infowars fake news bullshit. And as a result, a lot of the families Very biased. have now sued him, and they've won, and he's going to have to pay back tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars in damages to these families, and quite right, it won't do anything about the pain he caused them. Some of them actually had people turn up outside their houses with <laughs> guns because Alex Jones had told them that these parents were making it all up. They were all staged actors. It was all run by the government. So I simply say to you, now I've told you that, what is your view of Alex Jones? I don't see why any of that has to do with me. I, 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 it's very interesting. I remember this. Why did he, why did he even bring Alex Jones up? This was such a, this was like, he said a trap. Like the guy up in the video, I chap said, this is a trap. What was the point of him bringing up Alex Jones? He's been on a podcast. Ugh, that's it. That's it. Really? Because I've been on somebody's podcast. You're going to try to vilify me saying that I agree with their views. Come on. Come on, Pierce. You're stupid. That's stupid. That is stupid, Pierce. I've done the guy's podcast. I know him well. He was professional and courteous to me. When I meet somebody and they show me respect, I show them back. Respect. That's what I do, as I did with you. You yeah. respect him? I, if somebody shows me respect, <laughs> I show them you respect don't, back. So if Adolf, I don't Hitler, know if Adolf any... Hitler showed you respect, you'd respect him back? If at the... That's a stupid question. Such a stupid it's a question. Extension of your argument. No, if, if in 1931 I was walking through Germany and a man come up to me and said, "Sorry for bumping into you," I'd say, "Sorry, no problem, mate." Mm. I'd show respect back. What if, I don't know what, what are you trying to say that, I, that I sanction the Holocaust. You literally just said, "If somebody respects you, you respect them back." I say, "If somebody shows me respect, I show respect back." That's a good way to go through life. Whoever it is. is. If somebody shows me respect and is courteous to me, I'm courteous back. Yes. How can you respect somebody who calls such misery and pain to Sandy I have Hook no family? idea the specifics of the thing you're discussing. I don't understand any of it. Well, when I don't know anything about it. You've you told me. Pierce is virtue signaling, signaling so hard right now. This is pathetic. Like, really, Pierce? How can you respect somebody that did this? 
He did it. That's his thing. That's him. I respect him because of how he was to me, how he treated me, how he acted towards me. That's why I respect him. I don't respect his views, probably. I don't respect any of that stuff. Who knows? I don't know his views like that is what Andrew Tate is claiming, at least. He doesn't know, so he, that, let's take it at face value. He does not know. So why are you putting this onto him? That's ridiculous to me. Tell me your version of events. When four times you went on Alex Jones's podcast. Correct. Promoting him, helping him make money. I don't money. think it was promoting and helping him because... Well, it's his podcast. Well, yeah, but I've been on the podcasts of people who absolutely hate me. I've been on liberal <laughs> left-wing podcasts. I've been on feminist That's podcasts. Fine. And no, you just sat here saying, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I would like you to agree. Stupid. Perhaps we can agree on this point that I'm not a feminist. I go on feminist podcasts. I do a podcast circuit. I do You're not five, a feminist? No, I don't know. What do, you I, think, what do you think a feminist is? Well, let's not what? change subject what? What? We'll Stay on the subject. Fine. You yeah. mentioned feminism. Completely. You're, trying, you said, you're you trying to get away from the point because what you did is you're trying to say because I did a podcast, I sanction all of this person's views. And I'm saying I do five podcasts no. a week. Mm -hmm. I do five that. podcasts a week and I don't five. sanction 100% the views of any other person on the planet because I'm an individual and he has an individual views as right. do you. So I don't know why you're trying to come at me Would with you... one of his views and pretend that's something to do with me. Because it's a pretty big view. No, but it's a lame trick, Piers, and you're better than this. Not so let's move trend. on. You're sitting here, Piers, saying that I'm on Uncensored Show, and in your intro you said that it's important that we don't have echo chambers and we have varying Correct. and that we have varying opinions. <laughs> Correct. But then you're saying the people you don't like, you wouldn't go on their podcast. No, no. Like, come on. So you are a hypocrite. No, no. I'm I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a funny meme, but th that is hypocritical. That is very hypocritical, and it's also pathetic. I think it's really pathetic that he brought up Alex Jones up in his and tried to lump him in with the school shooting um, fiasco that Alex Jones is going through. That is ridiculous to me, and the fact that he did that made me lose a lot more respect for him. When I first seen this, that made me look, lose respect. That was ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I will go on anybody's podcast and I don't discuss think any point. I don't th when Pierce, did you last go on his Pierce, podcast? You trying to lump me in and attack me for a person whose podcast I do having a view is absolutely childish. Because, okay. it's insane. because I've done a bunch of podcasts with so people. You would do a podcast. I've done a bunch of podcasts with people who are advocating for things okay. that I do not agree with on every single level. In fact, most of my podcasts are me disagreeing with people. So it's completely crazy that you're trying to lump me in with that. That's, that's cheap. I think that's you, cheap. That is cheap. I'm here on your show. I'm providing you with content. You're giving me a platform and nobody's using each other. It's mutual. We don't agree on a whole bunch of issues. That's fine. And here we are. I think just we've had like, a robust exchange. Yeah, just like I've done on nearly every other podcast. And for, if someone were to come and say to me in the future, there's something, heaven forbid, mm -hmm. there's a skeleton in your closet. Mm -hmm. And someone were to come to me and say, you were on Piers Morgan's show. Did you know he's <laughs> X or he's done X? I would say that's absolutely nothing to do with me. Right. But I'm, I'm I make actually... the same point protecting you. I don't, I don't know what you do. I don't know your personal I can guarantee... life. That was a very good video from iChap. This was ridiculous. Pierce has to do better than that. That was, that was ridiculous. Come on, Pierce. Come on, Pierce. But other than that, if you like the video, like and subscribe. My name is Jay Dottie. Peace.